Hey there, beautiful souls. It's Grace, back again with another Soulful Summit. I hope you're all doing well and staying positive. Today, we're going to dive into a topic that I know can be a bit touchy for some of us. How to handle forced family encounters during the holidays. Now, I know what you're thinking. Grace, why are we talking about this? The holidays are supposed to be about joy, love, and togetherness. And you're absolutely right. But let's be real, not all family encounters are filled with warmth and cheer. Sometimes they can be stressful, awkward, or downright uncomfortable. But here's the thing, my friends. These encounters, as challenging as they may be, are opportunities for growth. They're chances for us to practice patience, understanding, and compassion. They're moments that test our ability to stay true to ourselves, even when we're surrounded by people who may not fully understand or accept us. So, how do we navigate these tricky situations? Well, the first step is to set boundaries. It's okay to say no. It's okay to protect your peace. It's okay to step away when things get too heated. Remember, you are not obligated to engage in conversations or activities that make you feel uncomfortable or disrespected. Next, practice empathy. Try to understand where the other person is coming from. Maybe they're dealing with their own struggles and insecurities. Maybe they're projecting their own fears and frustrations onto you. It's not about excusing their behavior, but rather understanding it. This can help you respond with kindness and compassion instead of anger and resentment. And finally, remember to take care of yourself. The holidays can be a stressful time, and it's important to prioritize your mental and emotional well-being. Take time for self-care. Do things that make you happy. Surround yourself with positivity. And most importantly, remember that it's okay to put yourself first. I know it's easier said than done, but remember, you are stronger than you think. You have the power to navigate these encounters with grace and dignity, and who knows? Maybe, just maybe, you'll be able to turn these forced family encounters into meaningful connections. Before we wrap up, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to Soulful Summit for more inspirational and motivational content. Your support means the world to me. And remember, beautiful souls, you are not alone. You are loved, you are worthy, and you have the power to create the life you want. So keep shining your light, keep spreading love, and keep being you. Until next time, stay soulful.